Alright, so uh, my dumbass made this video before and uh, didn't even uh, do any research on it. And um, so anyway, so now I'm doing, I've done the research, or what I consider research. Okay, so we got gynostemma, also called geogulon. Um, it's this. And, uh, you know, it has a or grows an orange fruit on it, bright orange fruit, and the flesh inside is uh, bright red. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's edible. Uh, it tastes kind of like watermelon. But the, the real star is this tea, okay? This tea right here, if you live in Florida, it's a chance you might have this growing in your yard. I live in Tampa. It just grows cra like crazy everywhere. So, uh, yeah, gynostemma, also called, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Giagolan, um, and uh, it's known as immortality tea, okay? Um where it grows in southern China, I guess. It's a location where the plant naturally grows wild and where people, you know, reported to live a really long time. They drink it every day. Um, so now it's just starting to, people are just starting to figure out about it. Um, the antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, anti-tumor activities. Uh, so, um, it does have a now the taste of it. You make a tea out of it, all right? Like I said, uh, and it um it, it uh it's bitter. It doesn't taste good. It's kind of sweet though. But anyways, I guess it says in the seventies they were looking at it as a natural sugar substitute. Um, doesn't say why I haven't ever why they didn't use it. Probably because it works really good and it'll like it's like ten times better than sugar. So that's probably why they didn't use it as a. <laughs> at the end of it, it doesn't say why they didn't why they didn't uh, continue on, you know. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so it says that it'll, it'll improve your ability to, uh, as far as resistance to trauma, anxiety, and fatigue. Y'all need this for your fatigue. This is the anti-fatigue tea right here. Energizer. It's, I'm telling you, fuck monster. Okay, this is what you want right here. This is it. Um... I'm telling you, if you have blood pressure, jeez, if you have blood pressure problems, okay, maybe that wasn't that easy to say, uh, you know, then this is this is gonna help big time. Crush my sweet tooth, done. But th between this and aloe vera, you know, and I'll get an aloe vera later. Um, but uh, you know, the aloe vera is better than this, I'd imagine. But um, it's the ultimate. But but anyways, but you got to get the non-GMO. So I got to get into all that. But you know, for now, uh, yeah, this 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 plus the aloe vera will just crush your uh, your star. Look at you, <laughs> you're gonna be big. Um, it's gonna crush your sweet tooth. Okay, so um. It says while the plant is most commonly consumed as a tea because of its delicious flavor, not nah, when I, you know, people they mm, they don't like it. And I imagine the more uh, filthy your body is, the more uh, shittier it tastes. So let's see here. Um, okay, uh, so they say you got a couple other uses, but really, this is okay. Giao Gulan. All right, that's how you say it. All right, <clears throat> it's five-leafed perennial climbing vine. Comes around, comes around in the summertime. And when it gets real hot, this shit gets real fucking strong. When it first comes out, I don't know. If it's, I don't think it's as strong, but you know, I don't know. Okay, so the other name: sweet vine tea, immortality tea. You, you know. Uh, So, you know, you can grow your own. It says, it should be pretty easy to grow. I'm saying this shit grows wild here. So if you actually like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of, a bunch of shit on it. Diabetes, all that. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> That's the way it works. 
this is you know better than probably uh, it's 90% of the stuff uh, uh, of the other stuff you can get in the store it grows right outside um, you know uh, I have to give you a little story one time uh, I was riding in my car in the daytime and I did some like you know some aggressive real aggressive shit it wasn't dangerous or nothing but I was like man was I drinking a day that's like some like I've been you know it's uh, that was just in my younger days um but uh but nah, um, I drank some of this tea, you know, so um, that's what had given me that energy, you know, like, I don't even know if I did anything real crazy, but I just, I don't know, I did something in the car, you know, and I, just the power of the car, you know, and I felt, I guess I felt the surge of power, but it was from this, this bad boy right here, um, this is, dang, maybe I should have got the fruit too, I don't know if I, Fruit popping yet? Um, hold on, let me check real quick for y'all. Alright, this is the best I can do is this. Uh, but this one's busted open, and you can see the seeds inside. Uh, but this is what it is. This is the fruit that grows off of it. And, um, you know, uh, here's the leaf. I mean, if you live, <laughs> probably parts of Tampa or Florida or whatever. It's just everywhere. You know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, if not, I don't know. Um, yeah, I would say uh, try to try to get some. It's also called Circe's, I guess. Maybe that's what Jamaicans call it. So, anyways, um, yeah. Thanks for viewing this, and because you know, you people in Florida, I just look at you, and you, a lot of y'all can really, really, really use this this right here. So, um, so yeah. Uh, keep watching my channel. I'm gonna keep telling you how to get all this, uh, all these poisons out of here. Um, this is this is one, but really, aloe vera is the king. Of all that non-GMO aloe vera. They genetically modify aloe vera, and of course, it fucks it up. So, but yeah, that's really the top. But this this is one of its, you know, this this is uh this is also in there too. It's got some got some power of its own. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video, and uh, I'll try to, try to keep bringing that heat.